more questions. This is a two-part video. This is the second part. Y'all get ready to get y'all lives. We have some amazing questions for you all. So let's get started. How was the first time you lost both of your virginities and was it good? Why are you asking us that? That is a personal ass question. And you didn't tell us to keep your name anonymous. I'm going to say it, Khalid. No. That ain't none of your damn business if it was good and how was it. How was yours? This ain't about us. This is about you. No, thank you. I'm not telling you how my experience was. Monique? You know, good and damn well. <laughs> you little nasty mother. What? Man, you trying to fantasize what the fuck is going on with yeah, you? Yeah, I think that's what you're doing. We don't do that over here. This ain't Cinemax after dark, goddammit. Watch you some porn, honey. Okay, next question. Hey, ladies, I have been in a relationship with my boyfriend on and off for almost three years now. And it's like every time we decide to take a break, it never lasts because there isn't anyone else we'd re it's like every time we decide to take a break, it never lasts because there isn't anyone else we'd rather be with than each other. He once lived here but has gone back home to the Caribbean to help raise his daughters from a previous relationship, and I support that 100%. Now with us being so far apart, he's asking that I consider coming down there to be with him. I love him and his family. They're amazing people, but my family aren't so thrilled about the idea, so I'm torn. Do you have any advice to give me about this situation? I would not go. I wouldn't go. Uh, on and off for all. I don't do the on and off. I don't agree to on and off relationships. Like, why would you keep on? Like, what? What you? What is the off part? What is that all about? Like, why y'all keep on breaking up? I just don't believe like, in it. I think you just need to. I mean, just give somebody. Not even just move on, but give somebody else a chance. You can find a person that you. I don't know why people think it's just this one person that's for them. And I, I get that because when you in love, you in love. But I don't understand. I don't do the on and off. We either together or we not. That's why yeah. I tell people, get your shit together while you got me interested. Because once I'm not interested in you, it is a fucking wrap. And I am never skating backwards. Yes, Lord. Um, Moving to a whole nother fucking country or whatever. You know. Yeah, his family. is a lot. Yeah. And, and then if y'all ain't there, never lived together, you mind you, he moved there to help raise his daughter from a previous relationship. relationship. So then that's a whole nother beast you got to conquer. Do you even have children? Do y'all have children? No, y'all must don't have children together. That's just a whole lot to be giving your life to somebody that ain't even your goddamn husband. This is just a boyfriend. A boy that is a friend. That is a lot, honey. Um, I would not move to no goddamn Caribbean to be with no goddamn man. If it's meant it to be, it would be. You ain't got nobody be. there. All you got is him and yeah, his family. And they're going to ride with him regardless. Exactly. You ain't got no friends there. You just going to be there, honey. Don't be trying to get in good with the family, girl. <laughs> that shit end up fucked up, girl. No. High and by to them niggas and I'm keep it moving. Problem. Girl. <laughs> yeah. but anyway. um, but yeah, I say no. Stay your ass where the hell you at. And, and y'all never live together anyway, so it yeah. might be. I mean, Ooh, a lot of shit is whole, great until you beast. have to. Yes, you live with. You don't other, see somebody you shit see all a the time. Whole another oh side of that motherfucker. They gonna see a whole another side of you. Y'all motherfuckers get down there and be fighting every damn day. No, stay your ass where the hell you at and go on with life. Try to live long distance. You thing. don't know nobody until you wake up and smell that stank breath in the morning. Woo, woo, woo. And farting and shit. Woo, woo. No. We say stay where you at. Try the long distance thing, and if that don't work out, then keep it moving and going girl. on with that life. Long distance ain't gonna work because he got mm -hmm. needs and so do you. I mean, shit. Yeah, no, don't go, girl. Let us know what happened. Let us know if you moved down there. If you did, we'll come visit you. Anyway, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Next question, your names. Hey, Keisha and Mo. I've been dating the guy I met on Tinder for about three months. Yeah, we just talked about that. For online dating, it's been really great. After just one month of dating, he made things official and asked me to be his girlfriend. Here's where I have the biggest problem. You see, he lives with his mom, dad, sister, brother-in-law, and three of his nieces and nephews. By all means, he's paying rent while living at home. If not, It's not like he's a bum or anything because he has a great job as a truck driver for Amazon. So financially, he's very stable. But I've never been to his house. When we have our date night, we always retreat to expensive ass hotels. I checked him on it, and he told me since his nieces and nephews are at the house, he don't want to start bringing me around so early until we get deeper in the relationship, which I thought was understandable. Or is it? My other problem with him is that 
with his job, he has to drive from Trenton to Massachusetts every day, 18 hour shift, Monday through Friday, which limits us to only having time to see each other Saturday and Sunday. I feel like I'm wasting, I may be wasting my time, but I don't know. He's such a great guy and I'm so smitten by him, but I don't know how I should move with this situation. Um, I think after three months of dating and y'all are boyfriend and girlfriend, I think coming up soon, like within the next two to three months, you need to be meeting his family at this point, at least saying hi. Now, as far as you going over there and laying up with him, absolutely not. He's right by taking your ass to a hotel because why do you want to be over there laying up with him with a house full of motherfuckers? No. Uh, you need to be asking him what is his short-term goals. Is he planning on moving out and getting his own damn place? Like, what's going on? Um... And as far as his career, you can't do nothing about that. That man got to make his coin, and you need to be focusing on you making the coin money through Friday, and y'all linking up on the weekend is good enough. You can't be just so enthralled and by a man that just want to be around him every goddamn day. You got to stay focused on your shit, because once you get so caught up in that motherfucker, your whole life becomes him, and he out there doing him, and going to make sure he all right, and you're going to be over there slipping, not making sure you're doing what the hell you need to be doing. So you need to be figuring out why you ain't got, you got so much time on your hands Monday through Friday to be figuring out what the fuck is he doing. Hell, FaceTime that nigga while he on the road. Other than that, get a puzzle. <laughs> Here's how I feel. <laughs> I think he's lying to you. I think he has a woman at home and I think that you a little side chick and I think this whole truck driving um, job that he has, I believe that he drives trucks, but I think that he's using it for an excuse so he could juggle the both of you. Because he could easily be living with a woman and telling her that he's on a truck driving assignment while he's spending a night in expensive ass hotels with you. I bet you any money he does not. Because there is nobody in their fucking right mind that's making that much money that's getting ready to be living with all them motherfuckers, especially them little crying ass kids. Have you heard the kids crying in the background? Have you? Uh, do you know for a fact that he lived with his mom and all that? Do you know for a fact? Because them crying ass kids could very well be his kids. Yep. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Find out, girl. Do some digging. Let us know for a fact that he stays with them and you know for an absolute fact. Because if and not. And you know that all this shit, is, even if that was true, what would make you want to be with a man who lives, with, lives in a home with all of those people? Wow. Like, well, you like, don't know how old he is. He could be young. We don't know how old they are. They could be 22, 21 years old. Mm -hmm. You never know. If I was 21, 22, I don't know where I would be in that situation if I was 18. And even then, I would be. Well, everybody ain't us, Monique. Girl, listen to me. There's a <laughs> woman at his house, <laughs> a chick, a girlfriend, it's somebody at the crib. <sighs> it's either or, like it's either he got That's a girlfriend. That's why you're so smitten by him because he's doing. First of all, it's new and everything's great those yeah. first six months. That yeah, man has somebody else. That's he's doing. He knows what to, he has to do all this shit. Cause who in their right mind gonna want a man to stay with all them motherfuckers? I mean, I wouldn't. If he grown like us and he stay with all the motherfuckers, yeah. Why? Why do you live in the house with all the motherfuckers? And you talking about he I paid rent? I wouldn't want to no guy like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. Well, I, I can understand if y'all That's young. some dysfunctional ass shit. It's some, just reading that I, 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 I envision walking into a house that smells like corn curls and dirty diapers. <sighs> and that there would have been no thank you. Yeah, we want to know. We need an update. We need a, another backup on this to find out. Do he really, you know for a fact that he stays with his mother and father. And, and don't and don't email us back lying. <laughs> right. Because you want to stay with Tell, Tell the damn the truth. truth. And like, shame the devil. Because mm -hmm, there's some key elements that you left out, which was age. I thought that would have been important. Yeah. And if you actually How old you? heard them, those people in the background. Not even How heard. How often do you talk to him? FaceTime. Scene. And where he was on FaceTime, you saw his mama in the back cooking some greens. We need to know some key points. Because just because you heard the kids in the background, it could be his kids. And you tell them the to shut up. So, yeah, let us know for sure. We need some more details on this before we can really give you a true answer. Uh, let us know how old y'all are. Do you know for sure if he lives no. with his people? 
And yeah, let you us know. You these people all right. <laughs> yeah, this family. This family. Okay, so we have an update from the girl that sent us the question about she was uh, fucking with her co-worker. They was on the phone one day and he told her he was going to call her back and never called her back. And she wanted to know, should she try to continue to fuck with him? And we was like, no, bitch, no. So this is her update. Hey, Keisha Mo, thanks a lot for the advice. As you know, I like to stay anonymous. I didn't realize how crazy this sounded until I heard it out loud. LOL. We mostly don't never realize how dumb we sound until we see it on paper or somebody tell us how dumb we sound there's another problem i'm facing so this guy i know and grew up with asked me out for the fourth time so i finally caved in and gave it a try we spent a lot of time together also so one day i was at his house and i found out he sold drugs and pills which made me very uncomfortable so i left but here's the boom i also found out we were eight cousins if there's such a thing still family so i told him and he basically responded like he didn't give a fuck okay He's on some Kevin Gates type shit. All right, now. And he said he didn't feel any type of way about it because nothing happened between us. I'm done with the situation, but I must admit that I do feel some type of way about the whole thing. Just act like it never happened and go on with life. Erase it out your memory. Embrace him out your phone. Don't never fuck with him again. No. Yuck. And block him. Yes. No. I wonder if he even know and continue to pursue you. I'm, I'm, I'm betting any money that he probably still reaches out. Good girl. No. I hope y'all didn't kiss him. Yeah. Please tell me you didn't fuck him because you probably just left it out. <laughs> I'm going to pray on a, to Blue Ivy. You did not let him get a taste. Because y'all baby's going to come out. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this video. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate the question so much if you have a question send it to since you ask one at gmail.com we love these questions send us some juicy shit yes god don't be sending us no weird shit like that one little motherfucker and don't us. leave out any details you yeah know, tell us that. all the tea give us yeah, don't, everything don't we need age stuff sex where y'all live at, the climate, the weather we need all that good shit we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna tell nobody yeah we ain't gonna tell nobody who you are but uh yeah send your questions and since you ask one at gmail.com we are ready all videos all since you ask videos are posted on wednesdays so we're looking out for that thank you all love you have a great week bye bye my latest book radio silence is available right now on kindle nook and in paperback check it out now at amazon or barnesandnobles.com